afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, another riveting, amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hero of Psych, Defender of the Fatherland, your Lord and Master. Off here to one versus one on the road to Kharkov. In the southeast, we got Bus Court B fighting for the American freedom, democracy, taking on the role here of the Third Armored Division. I mean, South is actually the Germans. Never mind me, my brain sort of just completely backfired. It's actually Nos Markov though, fighting for the Oberkorn West, Germany. Deutschland for the 21st Punch Room versus Boss Could I Be, 3rd Armoured, North, Heavy Cavalry, all that. Ugh. Really awkward when you make those kind of mistakes, but got to roll over the punches and move on. So, double rifles out here for Boss Could I Be, fighting somewhere here around on the Western Front in France. I mean, to break through the German lines to secure victory for the Allies. Democracy. Now, Smart here the Spec Ops, Scavenge, and Overwatch there. So, now Overwatch and Scavenge stand a bit more compared to Spec Ops, Triple Infantry. Would be fun if ends up using Scavenge, since that's. While it used to be very, very popular, obviously, with the Austrian requiring now tech, it's dropped off quite a bit. But it would be fun to see. It would be fun to see. Boss could be the moving out here aggressively. The note he's not going straight for the fuel point first, looking to secure all the points around the fuel point, which is actually an interesting opening move there. By him possibly trying to anticipate Nosmarco going straight for his fuel point that way, instead of rushing straight into the storm point, he's better sort of more casually get in there, surround them more tactically. Now, here's a possible sort of line of thought there. Nosmarco by here with the Kubelbank to his territory. Put some pressure on the Amerikanon. <laughs> Bit of white bar wire here on the uh, wooden cart there. Goddamn crowd stealing our wooden carts. But why do we use wooden carts? Well, we don't really. We don't have horses. Which they didn't. They pretty much had enough trucks to jump in hand. They didn't need to use horses a lot, especially as the war went on. There we go. Cool bunch. Jump on So pushing back the But there you go. Or in the car point here with the rough squad and heavy cub. Thanks to the Samix laid down there. Nice play by Boss Court. A B. We got more rough squad moving in the catch. Going to focus, try and focus on the storm pass next to the cover. Cool bunch. Nob's going to try and push it around the raft. Make it much harder there to do it. But the problem is the Samix actually to an extent make it difficult. And right here we can see Nos Markov almost lose the storm pass. But in fact, there's a good chance of it since they're running down the negative cover. And there we go. Full wipe on Nos Markov. In the first three minutes of the game, that is a size of blow here. And he only lost a single rifleman in the process. This is massive on Boss Code B. This is huge. I mean, he's going to obviously lose more rifleman, but even then, as long as he doesn't lose the rifle score, this is very much just a straight up tactical win here for Boss Code B. And it's going to be leaving uh, Nos Markov here reeling, staggering. Blurred vision is ringing. Kuban, they're almost taking out the rifleman as well, but they're close to losing that, and that would be. A double whammy there against Nosmarkov. Oh my god, he loses. Oh, it gets abandoned, and that. Holy smokes. A decisive pummeling here for Nosmarkov. Lost the Kubagen, lost the Sturm Pioneers, and Boss could, be, could end up here with the Kubagen. No, he managed to kill the Riesen, preventing them from repairing it steadily, but even then. Goodness. More faults on the way there for Boss Nosmarkov. They're the only thing now has to offer really against the enemy. Full Grenadiers. And oh my goodness, Nosmarkov is not having a good start. Holy smokes. I mean, these are two our ranked players, but clearly Nosmarkov has just got. Also, what are those two doing? They're just sort of spinning away to freedom. <laughs> Anyways. Ravnus right, is full of these. He's just. Oh my god, these losses for Nos Markov. Stjumpani is full of these. And a Kubelwagen. He's taking up now. Man is going to be the Mechanized Regiment because I think only a looks at this stage can sort of pull him through here. He might also have to consider scavenging simply for the Jaeger Infinite just to get some more troops up faster on the battlefield. But we'll see what it ends up with here for the ever beleaguered Nosmarkov of the 21st Panzer Division. And they're just spinning away there. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Anyways. I'm surprised the physics engine can keep doing that. Now they actually seem to be spinning faster at that. Wow. I mean, it's the Havoc engine for a reason, it's absolutely causing havoc. For the viewership. Right from Yusuf, we got the hand cover the Fulton, the link down some heavy volley fire there. It's going to be difficult, I think, for him to win at this range, and because the Fulton had more better long range DPS, and they're going to get a few flanking out there, and they just keep spinning. I mean, they've been at it for at least you know, a couple of minutes now. Fifth car following up, the boss could have been with the lieutenant. 
No smart up still at three folks gonna do this. We got the mechanized region going up there. Pretty much the only thing he could go for under these things. I mean, he's always holding on to the map, so as long as he doesn't, you know, concede too much ground otherwise, Nozmarkov might still have a chance if he can push the looks out fast enough. I mean, it pretty much everything hinges on that looks, and we'll have to see if Voskut V realizes this and then, you know, tries to counter it sufficiently well already now. He's also trying to start the cool button because Nozmarkov knows if his opponent gets that cool button in his hands, he's gonna have a really hard time. MG3 following up, this is obviously doesn't quite have for the looks, so he's actually not far off from it to be honest. He could technically just, yeah, we go, go for the looks instead. Folks, they continue to fight here. He's just fighting very defensively, sticking to the cover. He's not trying to, you know, play a hero here for Germany for now. He's just trying to hold every shred of ground against the Americans. So there you go, looks on the way there for Nos Markov. They're still at it. They are absolutely still at it. I wonder if they'll ever stop. Anyways, right from setting out, they're moving straight towards the center victory point. In the south, the troops reinforcing. Looks almost done there for Nozmarko in the 21st Panzer to be short. And. No! No! Looks like they're about to stop, but they apparently managed to just whirl themselves up again. Grabbing the victory point here, west advance here by Boss Kudabi. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's a panic bit now. They're fully dead now. They are fully dead. Anti aircraft type away there for Boss Kudabi. Can be useful as the, uh, the look, certainly, but it does require a few bazookas or something else to really make it work, but it's not impossible. Mine's being laid down there. Got the looks moving up here for Nos Markov. His one hope. His salvation. Stumpan is on the way there for Nos Markov. Still no sign of doctrine of choice for him. We'll have to see if Bosco to be ended up with something else. Up north here, got the reactions there. Slowly advancing as well. Looks moving in there. Pretty aggressive. His cap doesn't get too close. And for that matter, gets caught up into any mine. Since that would really mean Nos Markov is in a very bad place. Got Raffin laying down defensive in the west, sandbags and mines. Nice work there. Looks blasting with the 50 cover crew there, though they are fine with armor pitch around. Take doing some light damage to the looks. Saying something there, Nos Markov needs to be very mindful and cautious about. My god, Fritz, these Americans, yeah, they're fighting armor piercing arms. They're actually killing forces. I thought it was supposed to be a tank, but it's a light tank, yeah, but I didn't really think it was this light. It's almost as light as American beer. And that stuff's pretty light. Warm up piercing rounds there. He's gonna need to fix up the looks. We got the anti aircraft attack as well here for Boscourt AB. Got Rafa Nevis the looks as well here in the southwest. Blasting the party with the auto cannon. And we got the full sitting up as well here for Nozmarkov. I mean, he could follow up with a Puma and other looks if he wants to, and still a son of Docs in there for Nozmarkov. And he goes straight into the attack of Tough Tank, and they're taking heavy damage there. Almost losing the looks and facts. Not a great development there for Nozmarkov, to put it very mildly. We should probably try and put more pressure on the flanks here, try to avoid the half tank, maybe force it into a situation where you can actually ambush it and catch it off guard. I need to pull back looks because Boss could have been nose, the looks is in no state to really sort of stop the half track. MD34 halfway down there, but we need to get that looks out of there. If he loses that, I mean, that's. Oh boy, that's gonna be pretty much a thing, GG. There we got Fultz flanking up. He's gonna try to ambush it with the Pantherfaust. Nice work there by Nosmarco. In this case, to the half track, you're simply put just faster here than Nosmarco's flanking attempt there and is easily dodged, easily avoided. We've got Luke pushing it again. Nosmarco is squeezing it for every bit it's worth here. He has to. Meanwhile, though, the rest of the boss could have his forces are back here for reinforcement healing, which does give Nos Markov time to put your head here. He's clearly also less concerned about casualties for now. He knows he has to maintain pressure. If he lo if he gives concedes map here, he's probably lost because he doesn't have the force to keep attacking. But if he can keep defending, he might just have a chance. And I imagine that's what Nos Markov right now is spanking his entire strategy on, just somehow holding on, no matter the cost, no matter the price in blood. But there you go, hitting car points, hitting resource points. Another MD for the for Nosmarkov again. Very much a defensive strategy is going to enact here, though he is very much short now to tank weapons. And this could very well be something that Boss could have be, could exploit against him. 
but so far not happening besides that half track. So despite I would say a very rough start, partly due to his own mistakes on Pomarco though is I would say stabilizing and doing his best what he can with what he's got. And it's certainly handling it quite well. We got Rafa Strange and the MD34 by the calf point, Fox has got the fuel point. Looks moving up again, fine repair. We got mines down here. Should probably sell that looks for a bit of not yeah, Kubelbag, not looks, damn it. A bit extra resource, 50 cups setting up, the folks retreating, and Rafa getting blasted. And hammered by auto cannon fire, and Osmarka keeps up a desperate defense. Overextended and with minimal resources, he does what he can for Deutschland and the German peoples. After this, Luke's taking a few hits there. Veteran Chun looks as well. Very good work. We got the fifth car there. But with that mission from pigeon rounds, he can't quite do enough damage. You do have the Super Team ready. Could probably pop into that house and then surprise the looks. And I think he's using the half to get his bait for that exact purpose. Nice work there. A bime and there we go. We could see Nos Markov's look go down. Oh, the main gun is out. The main gun is out on the half track. I should have popped into the house there. I think given the line of sight and range to take out Luke's, he fails to do so, and the Luke's gets away there. Really close, Jay for those marker, but similarly here though for Boss Code RB. Both light vehicles are operable. At the same time, we got a deep flank here from Boss Code RB, taking advantage of all the folks around the car front trying to move about. He maybe ambush the Luke's and take it out and then to tank Raph grenade. A bold maneuver there by Boss Code RB, but could work out or maybe catch something else. Until then, though, Nosmarko maintains an iron grip on the battlefield. Back here, healing enforcement. We got a kid knife out there. He's starting to obviously worry more and more about vehicles here. From Bus could a beat. Troops setting out, healing enforcement. Half to being fixed up slowly but surely. Heading curve points. Of course, trying to deny resource well here to Nos Markov. And the 21st Panzer Division. Got a rifle setting out there for Bus could a beat. Those short on upgrades for them. Bazooka team looks good to go. 50 car looks good to go. Half tank. Still got a bit more work to be done there. Rap and Dean McKenna got the looks hammering away. They're very, very, very close to Veteran 3. Finding around the car on Rap and attacking the MD 34 head on. It's actually working out there. A woman machine group fully fire for a single shot and suppress the rifle squad. They are repulsed. Nice push there by Boss Could be though. Pretty risky there, to be honest. You also still need to grab the car point fully, but uh, looks like he's feeling perhaps a bit pressured here by Nos Markov and he's trying to push it as far as possible. Back to healing reinforcing on there for Nos Markov. Goddamn crouch. Yeah, who knew they could hit that hard? Who knew they could hit? God damn it, Carl. The Germans, not Italians. Half tank 50 coming up towards the center here. Got the munitions point. They almost got the fuel point. Back here, healing force. We've got the captain here. Certainly, I think normally would indicate his stall strategy, but I think at this stage, with how Boss Cutter B's resources are looking, it's pretty much just the realization he can't do anything without anti tank guns. I mean, he can't go from Igamama now safely, so. He's probably better off just trying to go for anti tank guns, stall for the Pershing. The Indicating this is more of a plan B strategy than anything else. And going to tank all the way there. He could, of course, use the cannon here to supervise it up faster. I'm saying that wouldn't hurt at all here for Boss Could I Beat. As for Noz Markov, I mean, I imagine we're going to be seeing a spare Panzer quarters up to defend here and then push out some Panzers. Maybe some Orbs alone here versus Noz uh, Boss Could I Beat and the 3rd Armor Division. Into tank and almost done. The Suga team's nearby. We got the looks pushing for the center, but there's only the 50 car by there. But he does have access to armor pigeon rounds again, which is going to be helpful. And it, except, of course, if Luke's just easily bypasses it before he can press the ability, in which case it's not going to matter. More mines going off somewhere. In this case, yep, mine goes off on the lieutenant, leaving him quite unhappy about the entire situation. There we go, Basuki team going for looks, especially free Barbie. Nice work here, Rafa going up here, supported by the half deck slowly. But we got an MD4 prime coming far there from Nos Marco, strengthening up his right flank. Excellent, excellent. Looks there murdering away as merrily as it can, capturing up the west side. Quick as maybe Bazooka and this fellow, maybe two. And there you go, Basuki team going for the looks again here. But he's going for the half track there, which he did. Oh, explosive as the looks. Still can get off some Bazooka hits there. But the looks is too fast and the are taking too much damage. In fact, he could end up losing the half track to this. Oh, anti tank on the spot, though. And the half track gets away, but he loses the rear and he loses the bazookas. But he gets the looks, though. That's actually pretty significant here for Boss Could It Be. Not as significant as he'd have gotten rid of it sooner, but still, it's a notable loss here to Nozmarkov and the 21st Panzer Division, which is going to be lacking uh, any sort of serious way of containing 
of course, we've got a BZ Aggressor Infinite Movements here. Of course, we've got the Shroud Panther course alongside the machine gun carrying on the west side. I imagine the machine was just there to cut up the Shroud Panther quarter, so what happens usually in those situations, which is an enemy stumbles upon it and destroys it before it gets ready. So, let's mark up here acting from experience and trying to ensure he does not lose his Shroud Panther quarter, since that could very well have been GG. Troops sending out for the next push. Half tech being fixed up once more there for Boss Court AB. Back in Los Marcos base, we got reinforcement going on there, a bit of healing. I imagine we'll be seeing a Panzer IV being pushed out here by Los Marcos versus the Americans. Just trying to keep up momentum with these anti man trying to see the situation quite around there nicely. Of course, a large part of it is just simply the looks and how Boss Court AB struggle to deal with it. That looks really bought him some serious time. To sort of you know gain control of the situation actually push ahead and of course just sheer aggression despite in some cases not quite being on the same numbers level there as his opponent he still pushed ahead he just kept up the pressure and tried just that way sort of maintain some sort of controls that was also i think some really bold but i think necessary play there by nos marco we can go for the panther for now and of course if nos marco is super bold he could try and play for the panther come on panther I feel like be a bit uh, reckless but there you go panther for another head effort He's not taking any chance there versus Boss Could Abia, despite I think you know, at this stage having a notable fuel advantage. But there's a difference between actually knowing you got a fuel advantage and then, you know, having it. Because if you don't actually know you got it because you're just under so much pressure, you might not realize it. But there you go, Reason's out here again, probably forming into another Bazooka team. Makes it points wise. Ooh, reasonably close, though, with the lead there to Boss Could Abia over Nos Markov. And there you go, Machine to be back to your trouble here. Oh dear, Nos Marcos not realizing he's getting murdered. He's getting murdered. Oh, realizes it. But is it going to be too late? He's down to just one man on the machine gun crew. And that could mean a machine gun hit. Yeah, machine gun four boss could have been another loss there for Nos Markov. And we could see another wipe here. Goodness gracious, when it rains, it pours for Nos on Nos Markov. Oh, one man survives. One man survives. Close one there again for Nos Markov. Panzer for the rhyme here to help stabilize the situation further here for the 21st Panzer to be shown. Fifth company. Then she was the first three, four companies would have been the Panther Battalion. Fun fact there. Usually each Panther Division had two armored battalions. The first one would have been the uh, Panther Battalion, the second one the Panther Four. Thus the War Dawn, it would have been a mixed battalion of Panther Fours, Stubes, and Yak Panzer, whatever they could sort of, you know, muster together as a fun fact. Orbiter fighter heading with there, going nuts in this Panzer for and in the pinlock machine as well. There, boss could have found himself on the defensive once more. Scarf points not connected either. That's great by the full Nos Marco. Again, the less fuel boss could get, the better. Panzer for James and tank in here, and oh, shot bounce, bit of luck there for Nos Markov. Second shot bounce as well, continuing like there. Half against the MD 34 here, a Kedna falling back. Oh, that is really lucky. Three pounds, and then again, max range is usually where the anti tank here is less effective, and the Panther Pulse armor is the most effective. So, so explains, but there you go. At max range, they get several penetrating hits in a row now, taking the Panther down to half health. And you've had four crap on the flank, and you can see then Pulse Club is trying to maneuver up. This guy, I think, needs some serious firepower to break through in the center east. Counter attack here from those mark into the Captain of the Essence who do not have the firepower to stop it. In fact, the half takes nowhere to be seen. The machine is being hauled up there. MD 34 and the 50 caliber there. And the MD 34 is close to being wiped out by. Oh, no. Uh, boss could it be. In fact, there's a chance here of being wiped on retreat. Nope, gets away there. Gets away. Close one. And there you go. MD 34 stopping the forces on the calf point. Intense, ruthless fighting between here between the 21st Panzer Jump and the 3rd Armored Division. Boss could be closing in there, being able to pull in the Persian, and so it's going to be questioning what Nos Marcos is going to have to stop it. Besides, like Kedden, after course, the Panther Four will struggle a bit there. Both machines moving up here for the center, a bit risky there. Should probably have something to cover up other elements other than that. And so it's meant to tank and to cover up the Panther Four. There you go, the half jump moving up. More pressure here. A rule and Nos Marcos and the 21st Panther Division is forced to give ground here since they can't really maintain the front line as is. 
without necessarily, I think, suffering pointless losses, which is not really something I feel like Nozmarkov can afford. I should feel like he can afford. Hands of all the dog is the entertainment thanks to the terrain there. That bit of shrubbery there, probably enough coming far here. Grenade off on the rifle, unfortunately, they're being blasted by the lieutenant. The fault's going to be here, heavy bar far there, making things very uncomfortable. Right side back to point there, could easily be caught by Boss Koda B. Mines would be good, and we actually got tech up. That's very interesting. Normally, most players here, again, with this sort of strategy, particularly when they're on the defensive, you know, on the back foot with fuel was, they actually just stole straight for the Pershing, Tiger, Eyes 2, or whatever. But interesting enough, Boss Koda B is actually taking up here, which is very interesting. He's about to run into the scrap punch course. Of course, he might be planning for this. Wants to take it out and thus deprive Nosmarkov. Ooh, that damage in the Panther 4. But yeah, if you can actually take out the scrap punch course, reasonably quick with double anti tank guns, they do have a high rate of fire. No, he's not. He's actually treating, almost getting the Panther 4, but ignoring the scrap punch quarters there. He's not bothering to deal any damage to it. I mean, again, she might be worried about a counter attack, just, you know, destroying his anti tank guns, in which case. Boss Cutter B would be dead in the water. Still good pressure here. Retain map control against Nosmarco once more. Half tech is once more ready to move roll out here for the Americans. Push up the center, push up the east machine gun they're holding up the German infantry. Reasonably nicely, though he's probably going to need some more support there since the machine can still be overwhelmed by sheer numbers, and that is exactly what happens. Nos Marco, though, still remains without Doctor versus Boss Cutter B. No scavenge, no Overwatch, no Spec Ops. There you go, half trick rolling in there. Murdering the Falcon is up close and ugly. Cuts the pin and down for the go the Panther, but no, Fritz gets it off. Before the unit gets pinned down. Close going to have actually three half though, which is going to be helpful. We've got a careful moving up. Could take it for a good hit there. We got a wipe here on. Boss could have be that's the major who bit the dust. Panther four number two on the way there for Nosmarco. Boss could have be he's gonna probably need Jackson's to fight that. Or well, something else. We got the captain there going on need to rush here the center. A bold maneuver there you rarely see nowadays, but uh, can still work out, in this case, it did not. Close one, though, here for Boss could have beat close one. We're turning up on the other side, we can see this beginning to basically fall back here, reposition. He probably should have been falling back, to be honest, though. And we got the half coming up, so we got the cameras nearby, but they're getting spotted here, and we can see their full collapse of the center here for Nozmarkov. And we could see another machine gun right up here with a bit of bad luck. That's exactly what happens. Second machine gun right tanks that aren't moving up there as well. Can't get the MD-34, though. In which case, you'd have three machine guns, which would definitely make things very uncomfortable for Nozmarco. Or at least more uncomfortable than they already are. But there you go, and to tank it was the Panther 4. Gun rush for the machine gun in front of the rifleman. Panther 4 taking hits. There we go, down to half health already. In fact, almost taken out there by the M1s. And whew, that was really lucky there. Two bounces right at the end there. At the end of those course gone through. That Panther would be dead. And that's also the important thing to keep in the M1 into tank gun. It might have lower penetrating than the into tank guns, but it has a 50% higher rate of fire, meaning it can end up doing a lot more damage to a lot of vehicles. And usually, if you get caught by two M1s, if you're really unlucky, you will not have a good chance to actually save your tank, and particularly with just the side to pop armor piercing rounds. Like, medium armor can very quickly die to the M1s, which is actually really critical to keep in mind. There you go. Going for the Sherman, though. Boss could have been clearly not quite keen on the Pershing yet. Or the Jackson, but sticking to the good old Sherman tank. Nemo lost Marco Hard work fixing up his Panzer Force, which have suffered quite a brow beating at the hands of Boss could have been in the third armor, moving about the anti tank guns. I think, in part, just to avoid that, yes, you know, Nos Markov tries to have an idea where they are and then just rushes them, clearing them out, keeping them in a reserve position, essentially, which is not a bad idea at all. He might, of course, also be expecting Nos Markov to attack another place. I want to prepare for that. So, I mean, either way, it's pretty much assuming his opponent is intelligent and, you know, is trying to counter that, which is overall a good idea. Overall, we got take up there with the sh brushed up with the Sherman. Nice work there. Mine's up to the lead down. Needs to get the Sherman up to the front line. And there you go. Hafter takes a nasty hit, gets the East Loop. But there he goes. Straight double hit there from the Entertain Guts on the Panther 4. And there we go, almost leveled another Panther 4 then again in a matter of seconds. 
Again, had that shot gone through, that that panther probably did again. If we're not had a chance to get away there, I mean, it is, I think, quite important to keep in mind the entertain guns are really lethal. But there you go, straight into the cannon there for them to go for the Sherman. Right flank that was actually deeply exposed. And I think what's good if he's realizing this, he's about to lose the Sherman over here, which is less good. He could throw down some smoke with the Sherman. Ooh, lucky there as well. Rather not moving, again, he knows where the machine gun is, he knows where its arc of fire is. I mean, you can easily just push up and get behind, wipe out the machine gun, which would be a critical loss here for Nozmarka. But it's not quite happening there, which is interesting to note. Ah, oh, there we go, it's a bit delayed there for Boss Kodobi. A bit delayed, but he is pulling it off there, machine gun is being pushed back, and in this case, flank not deep enough. But still pulling it off, the machine gun is quickly taking heavy losses, the double bars, in this case, almost quadruple bars, is of course a magnificent source of firepower, which really leaves the machine gun in a bad spot. Half of the rush too far ahead there. Bit of a mistake there, I think, by uh, Boss Kodobi. Still no dodge on there for Nozmarkov. I mean, we're almost 30 minutes into the game, and he still hasn't done anything, but there you go. Pantafort catches the. Ramping off guard gets what, but it's a huge blow there to boss could have beat. But there you go, lots of heavy damage against the anti tank gun, still not my piercing rounds. I feel like that's a bit of an oversight there by boss could have beat at this stage. He's just trying to, you know, get it down, but a uh, bit of missed opportunity there by boss could have beat. Might be a bit of stress there, fatigue hitting him. And he's about to lose his other anti tank. Now, this is a powerful mistake there, boss could have beat. Basically, hand oh, hands for the two got one of his own. In fact, seems to kill several of its own. But there you go, both hand of tank guns right now. That is a massive blow there to Boss Cutter B, since they're otherwise his main threat to the Panzer Falls. I mean, again, two M1s can do some ridiculous damage to medium armor. And he just handed them over there to uh, Nos Markov. That was definitely not the brightest move there of the year, by far. And certainly could swing the game back in favor of Nos Marcos. I would say looking kind of threatened there by Boss Kodobi, but those anti tank guns really just handed a lot back here to uh, Nos Markov and the 21st Panzer Division. But he's yet to grab more south than whatever. But there you go, Bazooka Cat moving in. They're trying to take out that Panzer IV, but it's not quite working out. It's not quite working out. My God, for it's Sabbath's close. Yeah. Good things the Americans don't know how to make anti tank weapons that work properly. Yeah. There we go. Pantaval close to death. Fifth Cab Lieutenant moving up here. Actually, no mind as the MG 54. And there you go. Something about destroying the anti tank guns. Very good idea there by Nosmarko. Some players actually neglect taking out the anti tank guns, but usually taking out the anti tank guns can usually be your biggest priority in, when you want to win like a tank fight, especially as the Germans. It's a good priority prioritization there by Nosmarkov. Still no doctrine there. And we got another Panzer IV. It's also gone for the Mechanized Regiment, but I think at this stage, it's not because he wants the King Tiger. It's just, you know, to maintain the Panzer IVs he has easier, which is actually a really good idea. And you just committing to a lot of Panzer IVs like this is a pretty healthy idea. Boss could it be committing to Jackson tanks so to help with it, though. Part of me thinks he might be better off just going for more Shermans. I like to try and save up for the Pershing at this stage. The Jackson is really good versus heavily armored targets, but the problem is if your opponent gets for a lot of medium tanks, the Jackson loses a bit there, and this is actually where you need a lot of anti-tank guns or something else, and, well, he's losing his anti-tank guns. Well, he's already lost them, but he's just losing them even more. They're becoming unrecoverable. So there you go. Jackson out here for boss could have beat. Halfway to veteran field on that panzer four. That's great there for Nozomarkov. Still no doctoral choice. Still a complete lack of the decision there. Third Panzer for the Ryan for the 21st Panzer Divi Sean. Of course, this is Rafa. And also, big thanks to Joshua for donating and supporting the propaganda cards by the way. Big thank you. Most appreciated. It allows me to keep doing what I you know, try to do. And there you go. A Kevin for White. I can actually grab the Kevin. That'd be helpful there for Boss Crow to beat. So it tends to be one of the biggest mistakes a Noble Cross player can do is actually overplace the Kevin Mavs and hand low to the enemy. Certainly a lot of fights that have been won simply because he handed low so many like Kevin Mavs and then couldn't deal with them after. But there you go. Big armor push here. Pat Jackson. Again, can't quite deal with a lot of Panzer Force. There you go, blitzing in one of them. Finally around the center, he tries to push forward. In this case, backs off. Gets the fifth cover there. Another loss here for Boss Kota B. Smoke's going off around the center as well there to cover things up. I'll shoot it by the Sherman there. Yeah. 
pens were ambushed. Let's get there for those Markov. Let's go. About to lose the Pentafor though. But it seems like he might just make it. Nope. Pentafor down. The first armor loss there for Nozmarkov, by the way. Just wiping out those ramp. Got the Shem rolling in here. And quickly rolling out as the Pentafor's in hot pursuit here. Misses though. Shot bounced. Partly because it's flying high explosive rounds and not armor piercing. Oh dear, boss cut. There you go, Jackson lands a nice hit on the Panzerfors flank. 90 millimeter armor piercing round goes through it. Moving in again here for now. There we got the Panzerfors joint on the Shem moving in as well. There we go, Panzerfors mistake down though. It does hit Bethany 3, like Kevin was opening up here. Did not recruit, in fact. Yarwin's back in action. He could lose the Jackson, which would be a massive blow there to boss cut be and the third armor. There we go. Pop goes that weasel. Explosively so. A smoldering ruin of fire and death. Oh, Nos Marco has lost several pounds of horse in the process as well, and particularly lost his veteran flea one. That is pretty significant. But he's still maintaining, obviously, decent map control. The victory points wise, he is behind Boss Code of E once more. Still, we should go for Doctrine, man. Eh? I mean, scavenge could be useful just for the Yeager to sort of help them grab victory points and maybe defend them in some of a pinch. Overwatch, yeah, spec off maybe. Plus, the Jaegers would get access to booby traps, which would help him defend the victory points. So, there'd certainly be some use there for those markup to, you know, commit to scavenge right now. One to take it over, boss could have beat, doesn't reach for anything. And there you go, Kevin for wipe again. Will he see it this time around and turn against Nosmarko? What will do? And will Nosmarko ever choose adoption? This silly little bleeder. Rock and Mother Ceased. We've got the Entertainer Knight here for Boss Kurabi and the Third Armored. No smart of going for more Ken was not anticipating the one he lost back then, obviously knowing he needs them. Shamming in there, snaps the machine gun, almost got in fact wiped, but there you go, Ken responds here with vicious glee, and there you go, machine gun wipe looking a bit rough there from Nosmarco once more. Push up the west here with machine guns and infantry. Looks like he's gonna grab the Lord Kevin for now, and no, he doesn't. I was about to say Bob's your uncle, but clearly in this case, Bob is not Boscoat's uncle. Fifty couple ramping as the foot's gonna do, slowly bleeding the map, but then on this stalling boss could be the freshman for the victory point. Not bad at all. Central victory point is used by Kedenafer. Skirmishing, I think, is in the favour of uh, Nos Markov. Nos Markov, by the way, still not choosing a dot and still not making indication of what he's planning there. But unfortunately, there you go. Pantor push back the raft and landing some good hits. Go ahead and for the Western victory point. Sherman pushing back the Panzer Fawn back here. We got healing enforcement again. No orbs on there for Nos Marco. Tons of munitions. Again, mines would be great. Booby trap would be great. Artillery here from the Howard's Barrage ability could be great. This is nothing there right here. The boss could be making another mistake. Rush strength by Kevin with the Panzer Force with the Sherman head on. No smoke screens, no probation there, and just loses the Sherman. Big mistake going for the Jackson now. Don't deal with the armor. I mean, that can work. That can work, but doesn't necessarily always. A capture point is being overrun. Good thing the Americans want to die so bad. Yeah. Good thing. Otherwise, you know, they might have tried tactics like smoking us before attacking. Yeah. It's funny how they never do that despite having tons of it. Yeah. They smoke some of it themselves, too, the idiots. And there's Jackson on the way there. Machine gun sitting up here against the Fox Grenadiers. There you go, flanking up behind the support weapons, leaving Boss could be there a bit dreadfully exposed. But, uh, looks like Inos Marco might just win in the end here. He might just pull through. Uh, 
Hey, good. Tank to start for Bosco B. Fox is into the 50 calibers. Jackson sending out. These guys are pulling down 125 as alone, 2 and 15. Panzer IV closing in eventually for you there for Nosmonikov. Still nothing else going on there. His base. You could be seeing it for the Panther, you could be seeing it for the King Tiger. You could just you know, decide it's not worth it though. He still hasn't chosen a doctrine. Definitely a big thumbs down here from the propaganda ministry on that one. That definitely is sloppy. And so it just serves to make the fight harder for him. Oh, finally here by the end we got Overwatch. Just in a set up a fun line of defense, I guess. Maybe set up for some other stuff. But again, I think it could have benefited a ton from it if he'd gone for it sooner, but better late than never, I suppose. Better late than never. You could probably get away with calling in the sector sort of out here. It's mostly an off here to back up the assault pants for moving in. There we go, sector assault calling in the Luftwaffe is finally on its way. <gasps> Pickups. Right from there, getting absolutely obliterated. He's bunched up too close to each other right in front of the Panther IV, which is usually a death sentence. The veteran 2 Panther IV from the upper corner is actually really lethal as an infantry. And there we go, we got the Air Force going in, troops being strafed down, pinned down. We got the bombing strike in as well here, my god. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious, almost forgot the Jackson and a lot of infantry. Still, Boss could be suffered heavily from this, and. is forced to retreat. He got, got the Panther IV, but he suffered horrifically here. From the Luftwaffe. And the Jacks goes down into a creeping like Caden Ever. Tank was just lost. New unit ready and Range is out here for Bosco to pee. Eh, probably a bit too late here to really have a difference there. Go looks like he realizes and surrenders. Game over here. A loss for America. A loss of the third armor division. A brutal fight here. I would say Nos Marco the really made difficult for himself in the beginning there with that. Uh, this is a loss of that was some really poor unit preservation. But I would say though. Everyone can make mistakes, while the thing is a real sign of skill that's actually been able to salvage the fight from those mistakes. And that was really what Nosmarko did. He just pushed back hard, went aggressive, fought his defenses, put in the right places, and just slowed down Bosco to B. Bosco to B, I think, would have benefited a bit from artillery at times, more mines, and otherwise, I think, a slightly at times more coherent strategy. I think had he realized the looks would have been, you know, the next thing coming up, they probably could have set up for a better and maybe counted, in which case he could have won their fight, I think, straight up. But in the end, there were some mistakes, and particularly as the fight went on, I feel like Boss could have been, at times, got a bit bullish and made some rather gross mistakes that allowed Nos Marco to have much more well, efficient and just, you know, push the fight more slowly in his favor. Though Nos Marco, again, trying to make those mistakes in the early game, and he definitely would have benefited, I think, from Doctrine sooner. soon. And, like, that was definitely also a bit silly. So there you go, hope you enjoyed this match, hope you learned something from it, if you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, and if you like me do, can donate, or pledge on Patreon, links in the video description, this is the link, and cheers, thank you for watching, hope to see you tomorrow for a nice episode, bye.